Today, we are building our run for our rabbits. Thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate everybody watching our channel. If you could hit that like button and subscribe, and we really appreciate it. Let's get to it. All right, guys, today we are getting started on our rabbit run. Um, I got the bottom laid out here. I wanted to put the bottom in before I put the ramp because uh, the ramp's going to kind of come down through the roof or the side. I'm not quite sure how it's going to lay out yet. Um, but I wanted the wire on the bottom, so I wanted to go ahead and get this done before uh, I put anything else together. That way it was easy. Uh, adult rabbits will try to dig out, so that's why I put the wire on there. I'm still, I think I might put a couple bricks underneath of the corners of this and then uh, bring in some dirt and fill it up that way because this chicken yard is known to get a little bit wet and uh, that way they're up off the ground a little bit so maybe it won't be so super muddy when we get heavy rain and I think that'll be good for them. But we have the base in and uh, we're going to get started on that and then start on our ramp so that's where we're at. Let's hope we can get some somewhere today. All right. Well, I got most of the dirt filled underneath of it. Uh, still have plenty more, and I'll add a little bit more after I get uh, the rest of it built up uh, through the top. I just wanted to get most of it filled in because I knew it'd be easier at this stage. So we're gonna start putting in some posts or some up uprights, and then um, get our ramp going and continue along. All right, so we have our ramp built. I just gotta put the piece of metal on it. Um, and I have changed my mind. I pulled this out a little bit farther. It's just gonna make it so much easier to do like the run itself without having to build that through the middle of the wall or the roof. And uh, I still have plenty of room. So I got this out here and I brought my toad in just to kind of see what it would look like. And uh, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get this connected yet. I was going to use corrugated pipe, like drain pipe, but uh, they didn't have any small sections of it uh, at the store today. So I'm still kind of contemplating. I have a couple like two by tens that I can build like a little box and just cut a hole in the side of it and have it punched through. But with my tote turned sideways like this, I still have plenty of room in between here and the uh, chicken coop. Nothing's ever going to grow here anyway, just because of all the shade from the chicken coop in the barn. Uh, so really all this space right in here is just going to always be kind of barren dirt anyway. So it doesn't matter if I take all of it up with the runs for the rabbit hutch. So this is our layout and I'm going to get started on framing up the run. All right, we got our wire on there. And now I'm going to cut some two bys to make the roof. I'm going to make the whole thing on hinges if I need to get in there. I'm able to, and uh, we're going to get to that. All right, we just got our door done. And uh, now I just need to get a couple little like small eye bolts. I'm going to put it on the door and the, the run. And I'll do it on each side. That way when I open it up, it can kind of kick itself out like this and then come tied into the string. And that'll just hold it there out of the way. Get in there and do whatever you want. Uh, I'm going to try to work on getting some metal on this thing tonight. We lost a little bit of our daylight. Uh, ran out of the poultry staples. So I had to run back down to town and get some. And uh, all I had left was real heavy duty inch and a quarter. So that would have been... Uh, a bit much to hey, what sweetie I, got them. I, I, I like that little hole for them yeah all right but that would have been a little bit heavy that would have been way too heavy for this it, it would have been ridiculous so this is where we're at and uh yeah i'm gonna keep working at it and we'll see what else we can get done today we might have to finish up our video tomorrow all right we had enough time to get our metal on So there's our door. You see it doesn't wobble left and right anymore and all the metal's on it. It's really tempting to go get spot and get her moved back into this hutch. I want to, but I also kind of don't want to confuse her any. Uh, 
I don't know, kind of want to wait until uh, it's time to wean her and then I'll move her back over into here. Um, that's all it's going to be for this video. Uh, I'll make another video on getting the kindling tote put on it. But we're not going to get to that today. So that's all. Thanks for watching, guys.